5 at 6. This month is National Preservation Month, and this extends beyond historic buildings. It also applies to historic submarines like the USS Drum at Battleship Park. But there's another historic sub located in an unlikely place that's getting the attention of a filmmaker and an Alabama author. News 5's Bill Riles caught up with both of them. On board the USS Drum, the historic submarine museum at Battleship Park has been in various stages of restoration for some time. Inside, filmmaker John Russell is interviewing Alabama author Don Keith about another historic submarine, one similar to the Drum but in a very different place. It's in Muskogee, Oklahoma. That's the USS Batfish. Years ago, some diehard ex-submariners floated it up the Arkansas River to its forever home in Muskogee. I just had the idea. I, you know, I live in Oklahoma and I've driven by that uh, submarine submarine many, many times. That's why he came here to interview Alabama author Don Keith to say that Keith wrote the book about the batfish would be correct because he did. I'm a storyteller and there are so many stories related to the submarines, uh, especially in World War II, where they literally changed the course of the war in the Pacific. Keith says there's a tremendous amount of interest in these historic submarine museums like the USS Drum here. He says that's because there are only 17 submarine museums in the country you can visit. Extremely sophisticated. A lot of things that you would see in one of today's nuclear ships were actually developed for the Baleo and Gato class submarines like the drum. Russell says he hopes to have his documentary completed in about a year. At Battleship Park, Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.